Well, hello, boys and girls. I hope you're doing good today. Hope you're getting through this quarantine okay. Today we're gonna do a fun craft, like painting, except we're gonna use what is called art tissue. This is tissue paper, but it's not like the kind you buy for wrapping gifts with. This is called bleeding tissue paper. So I put a few strips in each of your bags. You'll need a piece of white paper, something to dry your brushes on, your paint brushes, and a little bit of water. So get your stuff out of your kit, get all set up, and meet me back here in just a few minutes. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna grab a piece of my white paper. And as you can tell, I gave you each some of the tissue paper in your kits. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna make a really pretty craft, and this is kind of like a mosaic. So you're gonna start by taking, I'm gonna do my picture this way. So you're gonna start by taking a piece of your green, and you just start getting it wet. And you see how that color flows out of there? You can try layering some of it. And you just keep moving it around. It's kind of like a watercolor. I'll get you a little closer so you can see what's going on. All right, that should be a little bit better view. So, you just keep adding your paper, layering it. I'm just gonna kinda do a little bit of a mosaic design, and then I'm gonna turn mine into another card for a senior citizen. So this will make a really pretty colorful card. Where you're not getting much color, go ahead and add another piece of paper so you can get that all blended in. So you can get darker, lighter. I still have a few more torn green pieces here, so I'm going to add those in. And as you can see, this doesn't take much work, doesn't make a big mess. It is a lot of fun. And you just keep spreading that color out. You can hear my bird. I'm sorry. He's over there burping, making all kinds of noises today, isn't he? He is a good boy. We love our animals, don't we? I sure do love my bird. Okay, as you can see... I did a layer of green here. And the color comes off of this really well. And I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna go from the green to a blue, I think. So I have several colors of blue. So I'm just gonna tear them up and start laying them down. The colors will start blending together. You can lay these papers down however you want, you know. Nobody's judging our art but us, right? We can be as creative as we choose to be. You can just make it all about color. You can make it into a picture. Whatever your heart desires. It's your art. It's your creation. It's something you're going to be proud of. Art's a very personal thing. Nobody else has to like it as long as it makes you feel good. As you can tell, I kind of lay over some of my colors. I just let them fall where they may. You want to give it more depth, you can lay your colors over each other, and that makes a whole other color. Doesn't take very much water. You just keep spreading out your color, getting those tissue papers wet. Now 
I just lay them down in any old design that I feel like. my attention. He gets upset when I'm in the other room. And he's in the living room and I'm in the kitchen. Well, actually in the dining room. And now see how pretty that's turning out? We'll just keep laying that color on there in lots of different ways, however you want. Just add little bits of water at a time. That's why they call this bleeding tissue paper. You can get as creative as you want. It doesn't take much to do this one. It doesn't make much of a mess either. So now we've got our green and blue. Now I think I'll go into some pinks, reds, and oranges. So I'm just gonna tear this <clears throat> and just start laying it down in random patterns. Because I'm just, excuse me, I'm just trying to get a lot of color on my page. You guys can design a picture. You can do it however you want. Sometimes this stuff sticks. It's hard to get it. I'm just going to lay a few of these down. Not really caring about a pattern. And I'm going to dip my brush in my water. And I'm just going to start wetting those down. Getting that color to spread out. As soon as you get a little water on that, they stay pretty much where you laid them down. And as you can tell, we're getting really pretty colors here. See how fun this is? Colors kind of mix together all on their own, create some newer colors for you. You can pull some of that orange down into that red. You can pull some of that red up. You can just make it whatever you want to make it. Make it look however you want it to look. I'm going to need some bigger pieces over here. And I'm going to overlap some of them just to see what kind of effect we get from that, right? All right, once again, we apply with our water. Make sure you work all the way out to your sides of the paper. Get that tissue to lay down where you're wanting it. Right, just a little bit of water goes a long way. Mine's just going to be this pretty little mosaic that I can then turn around and I can fold it and I can write on it after it dries and it'll be a really pretty background for a cheering up card for one of our seniors, right? Or you can make a Mother's Day card. You can make a Father's Day card. You can make a nice card for your Nana or your Papa. Maybe you just have a friend that lives next door that you'd like to brighten their day. <clears throat> See how pretty this is? Wouldn't that brighten your day? It sure would mine. So then I'm going to go into my lightest colors here. And I'm just going to tear them. And I'm going to let them fall. These are really sticking together today.
Let me grab three of these pinks. Some of them are doubled, some of them are single. And then I'm gonna go into these yellows and golds. So as you can see, it doesn't matter how you lay it down, you just do whatever makes you happy. Just get a little water on those to make them stay put. Yeah, a little water goes a long way. Okay. Start gluing my pieces down with the water. And then you start spreading out that color. You can grab that color from those pieces. down into the other colors you did, make them all combine a little, and look how pretty that's turned out. And there we have it, a beautiful little mosaic piece. I'm going to let this dry. Um, explore with this, have fun, see what you can come up with. Show me your art. Um, I will come back and show you after this dries how I made my card. But there's lots of things you guys can do with it. You can use these pieces to cut up and make another art piece with. All right? So, there you have it. I hope you guys are enjoying this craft. Uh, like I said, you've all got an assortment of tissue paper in your bag. Play with it, see what you can do with it, see what new colors you can come up with by layering. Um, let me see your art, all right? Have fun, I'll see you after this dries. Oh, hi guys. I'm back, or settle down. So, I've got my tissue paper. Uh, the piece that I did with the tissue paper, I peeled all the tissue paper off and it left this awesome design. So, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to fold it in half. I have help today. Thor didn't want to be by himself in the living room. So he decided to come join me in the kitchen, huh? And so I'm just going to fold that in half. And I'm going to turn that into a beautiful card for one of our senior citizens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it in half. Yeah, I'm cutting it in half. And then I'm going to use, this will make two cards. So I will glue this one onto one piece of paper and this one onto another piece of paper. And then I have the makings of two beautiful cards to share with somebody. You can also cut these up into four little pieces and just put one square in the middle of a card. Um, you can cut strips and make this your border on your card. So there's lots of possibilities you can do. So use your imagination, get creative. Let's see more of those cards come in for our kindness challenge, okay? Um, I will be drawing a winner in a couple more weeks. I will probably give you one more challenge before that happens. So get busy. I hope you guys are being safe. I hope you're having fun. Say hi to Thor. Say hi, Thor. Hi, Thor. Hi, Thor. He's so silly. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Door, door, door. I'm making all my stuff fly around. Hi, guys. I just thought I'd pop back in and show you. These are my pieces that I did with the tissue paper, and I just want to show you what a beautiful card that would make. All I did was cut out a piece, glue it on the front here, trace around it with black. I cut out a little border strip and put it right here. And as you can see, that would make a lovely card for somebody. All I have to do is add my words. So get creative. You can use these for lots of things. Um, let your imagination run wild. And uh, I hope to see you guys here soon. Thor keeps making all my stuff fly around. Um, I miss you guys. I love you. Stay safe. Wash your hands. We'll see you soon. Bye.